Thanks very much for joining me again. In this video, we're going to look at using the multiplane function of OpenTunes. All of this and more is in my Animating with OpenTunes course. The link is in the bio. And of course, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. So I'm going to use a scene that I have in my movie, The Painter on Safari, where the vehicle's crossing the bridge, just to show how this all works. To get into the multiplane function or the 3D function, you hit the button just to the left of the camera button, that one, and you'll see it throws it into a, a 3D view of the table, the camera, etc. The camera is not visible just yet. And if you want to swivel around and navigate your way around, you can just hit that button bottom left there that hand with the swivel and you can use that to navigate your way around this. Those buttons there are for the side view and the top view. So it's pretty cool to navigate your way around this. All these layers are set by default at a certain level. At the moment the default is 16, it's 16 fields. It's that number in the brackets there. I've got the camera selected here in the X sheet and you can see that the Z here on the camera is at the moment 20. So if we just change that to 16 then it will be flat with the rest of the levels on the plane. We can't see it at the moment so let's just go turn it on. Okay there it is there. So you can see the camera cone there. It's plane is level with all the other levels and they're all at the default of 16. So if we want to change that, we can maybe leave the first key at 16 and go to the end key and we can make that 32. And you see how the camera goes, goes backwards. It's now, it's field value is now double what it was, 16 to 32. So if we go back to the camera view and just play that out, you're going to see the camera is pulling back. So maybe instead we want the camera to zoom in. In other words, get closer to these planes. To do that, we can go and again with position on, go and change the Z factor for the camera. Let's instead of 32 and 16, let's make it eight. So it's actually half what it was at 16. So it's, it's eight fields instead of 16. So now it's actually zooming in. And if we put it in the 3D viewer there, we can we can see it actually moving in. So that's the camera. What about the rest of the levels? We can do the same. So let's grab one of them. Let's grab this background here. It's 16 at the beginning. Let's make it zero at the end. And let's play that out. And you see it jumps ahead of all the other background levels there. So let's have a look at it in 3D what it does. Yep. So it comes in front of all those other levels because they've got a higher value field. So let's go play with its number, its field number. Instead of punching these numbers in, another way to, to move these backwards and forwards is to, with position selected, we can hold down our control key and we can move our stylus, our mouse up or down and that will that will slide these forwards and backwards in the z-axis. So that's quite a cool way to do that. So let's go give it 32, which puts it right back. Remember we started the default here 16. Let's go and move the sky. Let's give that 48 FLD. And let's play that out. And you can see that as the camera moves in, the backgrounds are moving back. And we haven't done anything else. We, we haven't played with the scale. Um, we haven't zoomed the camera in, in scale. We haven't played with anything else. We, we're just using the Z factor here. So that's quite a cool feature of OpenTunes that it has this multiplane camera effect. So if, if you think of it like those old cameras that, that had, those old Disney cameras that had the, all those levels, and guys would climb to the top of the ladder to to manipulate them. That's all we're doing here. We're just playing with the distance of these levels from the camera and we're actually playing with the camera itself so that we can track the camera through the scene as well, which we'll, we'll do right at the end. So the camera's coming in on the scene and the background layers are 
also moving out on the scene. We can play with this and we can also use our X and Y values to move these around. Eventually you might get a nice feeling of depth doing it this way. So let's just go back to our 3D view and have a look and play it out. And there everything is moving outwards or backwards. So I'm going to introduce an object here. It's a stick from one of the scenes. Uh, I think it's from the tree. And I've started to animate it in a kind of a boomerang way where it's going towards the vehicle and then coming back. And let's click back into the 3D viewer and see the stick. There it goes. And you can actually see it going from the front through the foreground level towards the background level and then back again. Now if we want to play with it, its position in between with the control button down, we can go and, go and move it in and out on the screen or we can go and fill in the actual Z distances at the top there either way. You can see that that arrow turns green when the Z axis is in play and you have your control down and we can do the same with all of these levels. So the vehicle is on the same plane as as the foreground here and the stick is coming in front of the foreground but eventually it gets to a point where it's behind the, the foreground and that's the point it crosses there and then it can go behind that vehicle or can go behind the foreground and then come back which is pretty cool because we're only doing this by using the Z the depth of the Z field which is pretty cool we're not reshuffling any of this on our X sheet etc etc we're just playing with the Z axis here which is pretty cool so we can go through this and we can go and increase and decrease the Z factor it needs to at some point come in front of this foreground here we can finesse it and play with it so that it, it goes behind the vehicle and then comes comes back and goes in front of the foreground. I just think this is such a cool part of Open Tunes that, that I don't really use enough of, but I certainly will be using in, in a scene in my course now. Once again, we can just go and with the control button down, we can just go and push in and out and it will move it in its Z axis. Very cool. So we've, we've almost got this thing going around like a boomerang. We're just going to put some rotation keys on this as well so that it actually tumbles on the stick, make it look more realistic. That's pretty cool. And then let's click back into the 3D viewer and let's go and have a look at it again. Just find a good angle to view it from. And let's play that out. And then we can also bring this foreground with the vehicle right past the camera or we can track the camera through it as well so that the camera gets on the other side of it either way bring it forward or track the camera back so that the camera goes over it and it it gets behind the camera it gives it that sense of depth We can play with the stick again, pull the stick back and eventually we end up with this pretty cool scene where the camera is going through the scene, tracking through the scene, parts of the background are falling away and we also have the stick that's magically doing a boomerang move in front of the foreground and then behind the vehicle and, and back again. So pretty cool I think and all this is really done on that Z axis which is um, using the multiplane effect. So very, very cool. It's, it's something I don't use enough of and I really intend to use more of it. You can get some very nice effects with it. So let's just output this. Let's render it out, set up a render for it. 
and let's take a look at the render the final render version and there's a stick flying in around the vehicle and then back again pretty cool so all of this and more in my animating with open tunes course please go and check out the link in the bio again please if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to receive my newsletters on what's going on in my channel please go and sign up for that and otherwise thank you very much for joining me again much appreciated and happy animating out there we'll see you again soon all the best bye